Hi, welcome back all of you. Nana here and then uh, we are into the next session on this efficient order management implementation. So we're going hard on this. <clears throat> so today we're going to see an, a concept called uh, uh, advanced pricing actually. Fine. Advanced pricing is really very tough actually as far as efficient is concerned. So you have to do a lot on this now. So let me show you one example of an advanced pricing. Uh, uh, I don't know, open up. Go there. So I open up the Oracle SDM training, and then here I go to efficient order management. So here I go to the efficient order management documentation. I will not go to that. Buy one get one free dot. Buy one get one free dot. So I'll now go there and then the So buy one get one free is the document, right? Double click on it. Now have a look at. So we'll be having. So the first activity is to what? Uh, we have to go to the reports and analytics, and then obtain the it's called the item ID actually. This is a very bigger one. I find they should have made it as one very simple actually. Uh, they want an item ID to be populated on your uh, what happens on your product transformation goals actually. Ah, it's really very very tough actually. <clears throat> so what? I, okay, fine. Well, now first of all, identify the what's called the ID now. Fine. <clears throat> the item ID has to be obtained. Why they are bringing in technical aspects into the functional? I don't know. Fine. In Ebus, it's very simple. So once when you put the item, it will automate enough. No. For the item code, we had to obtain the item ID actually. So the first activity, the one. So let us now go there and then we'll now obtain the item ID. So for which I click on the home icon. <clears throat> I go to the home icon. And then I go to the tools and then I go to the reports and analytics. So go to the go to the home icon. You go to the tools. Go to the tools. And then you go to the reports and analytics. Tools and then reports and analytics. <clears throat> Tools, reports, and analytics. So click on the browse catalog. Click on the browse catalog. And on the right hand side top, we'll be having a browse catalog. Click on the browse catalog. And then yesterday I tried, it is not working because somebody has modified it actually. People make a lot of RD and then they leave it half and then they go away. That is the biggest problem. Okay. So now I have, after going to the browse catalog, I click on the create and then I go to the data model. Click on the create and then go to the data model. So I'm going to go to the create and data model. <clears throat> so we are now going to go to the create and then go to the data model. And data model level. So here, one I icon is coming now, fine. Not validated. So validation has failed actually. So that is the biggest problem. Fine. So I will now go to the diagrams and then click on the plus and then go to the SQL query. I'm not going to make a SQL query. I'm going to say test to the one. Test. And then drop down, I will not use what What it. validation it is, Nana? I don't know. See, there is somebody has started working on it, and so it is now giving error actually. What to do? Somebody has started uh, customizing this uh, reports and analytics, so it's not working at all. So I'll go there. So I will not go to this place now. I will not take a copy of the seller statement actually. Take copy of the seller statement, and then I will not paste it. So my item is what? T0101 STD order. So T0101, I will now change this one now fine, to STD order. So that is my first line. Fine. So I now change this one. So click on OK. So by which the SQL query is now getting executed. Fine, click on OK. It is now executing. We got this results now. Fine. You keep your cursor on this now. Fine, click on this. And then you go to the data. And then you go to the view now. Fine, click on the view. It has to generate and then show it to you. So here nothing is coming actually. In the table view also is not coming. So go there. If you click on the validate, it will not tell you what are the errors now. Fine, click on the validate. <clears throat> Fine, click on the validate. What is saying that warning? Fine, data set, data set error. Fine, SQL query contains a select star. Use of star is restricted. Select the specific column. That is what it's saying now. Fine, so that is a problem. But it is only a warning, but it has to give error. Fine, it's not doing it now. So let me change the star with a, a specific because we want only item ID. Actually. Fine, click on it. So what we need is what we need only an item ID. We go that one. Item ID is only required. Fine. So item underscore ID is the one. Fine. So I will now click on it. I will now edit it. Fine. So instead of star, I will now put item ID. Somebody is modifying it. Fine. So select item ID from so and so. Now. Fine. The only one column I need. So click on OK. So go there. So this is the only column which is coming now. Fine. Click on it. And then if you go there, go to the data. And then go to the view, it has to show me the results. Right? It's not showing me this at all. Not coming at all. In the table view also, if you go there. So click on the view, it has to process and then show me the item ID. Fine, it's not coming at all. Table view also is a blank actually. 
item ID is coming, but no, what happens? Output is coming actually. <clears throat> okay, fine. So item ID is not coming at all for, for the query. If you click again on validate, fine, go there and validate it. There is validation of success actually. Now. Fine. There is no error at all, no error, no warning, there's no success, but even then output is nothing, fine. Operation success patient died. Actually. So that way is not coming. Somebody making a lot of R&D on this one is very, very difficult to work upon. So what I'll do is, I will now go there. I will now use uh, what happens, the uh, visions one. Fine. Vision is the biggest problem is what? Sometimes it will work, sometimes it will not work at all. <clears throat> so, ah. I mean, you are having a vision. Uh, how to see the previous ones? No, fine. I will just had it. No, fine. Okay. So, not there at all. Okay, I will now try to bring in my friend. I have got an e -sub. So I am now going to work on the e -sub actually. It is now actually working now in this place. So let me go on and do it. So let me take it to what? Uh, ASCM 11 dot student. So click on sign. Because ASCM is basically for order management. All ASCM users, you can very well use it for order management. We are going over there. <clears throat> So go on there. And then let us now go to the tools and analytics and then we'll now run the report actually. So, so click on the home icon. I will now go to the tools and analytics. So I have to consume. So I will now go to the tools. Find the tools and then go to the reports and analytics. Sorry. I go to the reports and analytics. <clears throat> People make so much of R&D and then uh, spoil things actually. And click on the browse catalog again here. Now go to the browse catalog. So in the browse catalog, I will now run the query actually. I will now go to the create data model. And then there, I will now run the query. Here, vision it is working. And nobody has spoiled it here. In our place, only it has been spoiled actually. That is why with the half knowledge, if you start to work now, fine, it becomes very, very difficult actually. And click on the create and then go to the data model. So we are going to the data model now. Okay, fine. Let's go to the data model. So we are now going into the data model. <clears throat> so now I will now write the SQL query actually. <clears throat> it takes some time to come to the main screen actually. Oh, here also we are having the same problem. I find one I icon, I icon is coming. Okay, you know, see, I know that one. I will not read the SQL. Here also I'm getting this one. Now hope that this works here now. So drop it down. And then I'll say application DB FS, FSM. Application DB FSM is the one. Fine, I will not paste this one. So here I have a ready-made item called AS6500. So this item, let me query. So we have a AS6500 is a one So I'm not going to put it. So I'm not going to select star on an AS6500. Thank you. So you click on it, we'll view it now. I'm going to the data. I'm going to the view now. So I click on the view. It will not generate an entry. <clears throat> so click on the view. And then go to the view now. Here it's working at least. Item ID has come. Fine. Item ID has come. <clears throat> so my AS6500 item has got ID. Fine. But I don't know why they have brought in the technical aspect of uh, what happens there. Yeah, functional implementation. I will not take a copy of it. The technical aspect of what happens there. Yeah, functional implementation. I will not take a copy of it. So this is the item ID. We will not put in my word file actually. So here is the one. So let me replace that. So the bottom part of the I'm now replacing it. So item ID is what is the one. I will not change it to my ID. So this is the one. So I will not make it big, big, big. <clears throat> so this is the one. So this ID I'm going to use it. One five one six one. I'm going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got it for A6500. Somebody want to talk to me, but I am unable to hear you properly. <clears throat> Seems uh, our video also records, sir. No, not record. Not. Yeah, yeah, I told you about how to do it, <coughs> but this is sufficient. Our <coughs> is not required for this. Buy one, get one. Get. <coughs> now, I am now going to create a product transformation rule. The product, tra <coughs> the product transformation rule has got two parts. One is a pre-transformation and then one is a post-transformation actually. 
so but everything is basically by this fine you must be a good person on the adf otherwise what happens you cannot configure any of the advanced pricing at all so this has been given only by my technical team actually my technical team has given now so go there i will now put this 1516 number here also <clears throat> so that what happens i will be able to put it properly please do. i will not show you but how to configure this buy one get one free so I will now go to the product transformation rules and then I will not start to do it. <laughs> I will now go to the main one. Thank you that. So I will now go to the task. No, thank you. I will now go to the task. Go to the setup and maintenance and then I will now go to the task. <clears throat> so click on it. I will now go to the manage search. It is a manage product transformation. So every aspect of EBIS uh, advanced pricing can be done, but the only thing is you have to know SQL and then uh, you have to have a sufficient amount of proficiency. It's not the problem. <clears throat> if you don't have a proficiency on the, on the ADF, you cannot do this at all. Now this, we are now going to see buy one, get one free. And then we will now see about how we are going to write this rule actually. Both the pre and post transformation rules, you only have to write through the coding it. Through coding only you have to write. This is the place where you have to configure the advanced pricing. On the left hand side, you'll be having a plus fine. Click on it and then go to the general rule. Now, fine. On the rules plus and then click on the general rule and go to the general rule. A general rule I'm going to create. So here, this is your, uh, product transformation rule falls under order management or product management? Yeah, yeah. product transformation rules for order management is advanced pricing. Okay. So, so many things can be done. They say that it is even, uh, the technical guy was saying that it is even more powerful than EBS. But the thing is, who can write such thing now? Fine. He gave me the code. He, I, I sat with him within five minutes, he wrote the code. This code, he wrote it in five minutes, actually. Fine. The, whole, the whole code he wrote it. And then I asked a different situation. And then afterwards, what happened? He started the second condition. <coughs> but he was not having time. So, he left it. And then I, it is half, actually. <coughs> it is not done. <coughs> second. So second action also. He can do one test on this now. Fine. He just see. Fine. Now I'm going to write a if condition. He was explaining, but I couldn't understand this actually. I was explaining. So go there. Come on. I will not go there. So click on it. I will not make a simple rule, simple test. In the if condition, what happens? I'm going to write a simple test. So whatever you written, I have now taken a copy and that. So I will now say order transformation rules dot fulfillment line vivo dot inventory item ID. Fine. This is the, this is the one. Fine. So this is for, for each and every, for our ID also, everything is there. So if you sit with them, they will not tell you all the uh, conditions basically. I will not paste this condition. Now, so many conditions will be coming. You have to choose this one. The third one is ours now, fine. Order transformation rules dot fulfillment line vivo dot inventory item ID. Fine. Like that, whatever they'll be putting. So when you place it, so many criteria are matching it. So the third one is ours now, fine. The third one is ours. Fine. He says that this will not fetch the item ID. But item ID, we have to go there and then do it now. Fine. In this place, you have to go and then find out the item ID. How difficult it is now. Now I will not populate this one. So you will not take a copy of the item. Item ID, we are taken out. No paper, post it. And then give a tap. So give a tap, it will not say validation is not found. It will not say or something else. Fine, doesn't matter. So the first condition is not made. The second condition is what? Order transformation rules. Come on. Please uh, mute your mic now. Fine. If you are not talking, please mute your mic. Mute your mic. Fine. If you are not, not talking, please mute your mic. So the second condition is what? Order transformation rule or fulfillment line. What is the order quantity? Actually? So order quantity. This is going to begin the order quantity. But if you start to work, work, then what happens? You'll be able to do it now. Fine. Click on plus. Fine. Go there. I will now go there. I have to add one more line now. Fine. Go there. So don't give this now. Fine. Click on plus. I will now click on plus and then simple test. So both are basically undead actually. I will not take up this order quantity. Take copy. I will not paste it away. So once I paste it, it will not show you. Fine. We will not find out. Fine. Order transmit rules dot fulfillment line vivo dot order quantity is now coming. Fine. So this is the one. I will not say greater than. So I will not say more than. More than two. Fine. If the item ID is so and so. And then if the sales order quantity is going to be more than two, then what happens? You insert a new line. That is the condition. He's saying that it is not that difficult. You sit, sit, and then you understand it. That's what he's saying. 
<laughs> oh god so then when click on it, now go to the assert menu here is a simple rule here it is the assert menu when click on assert menu <coughs> there are plenty of things are there <coughs> good so then what happens sir? he has written this one order transformation rule dot add new line or like fine this is going to add a new line take off it now go there now go to add a new line so go that more order transformation rules and go there it's called a new line where is the new line here Order transformation rules dot add new or line. Yes, this is the one. I have not chosen add new or line. So at the time, what happened there? The edit icon has to come now. Fine. The edit icon has to come. I know that. So it is not coming. So what you do is you give a save the edit icon will be there. Here this one. Fine. Give a save at this stage. What happened? The edit icon will be there. If it doesn't come, he's saying that you have to be saved. Once when you save it, the edit icon is editable. I click on it. So here the new item ID. So if you buy one pant, one shirt is free, you can say no pant. But in this case, whatever, I not get a new ID. So I will not put the same ID. Fine. Same ID. Same item ID. So if you have got a new ID, that, that will be free actually. So take copyright. I will not put a new ID. <clears throat> then what about he's saying bureau IMPL? He also gave an explanation, but I couldn't understand what exactly he's talking about. <laughs> the bureau IMPL it will be. So the bureau IMPL, he says that afterwards, whatever I just took only whatever the output actually. He was explaining something, something, but it's very difficult for us to understand that this. No go there. I will not take copy it and then put it on this place. So it's a bureau APL. We can even use constants, all these things we are saying. <clears throat> so it's a bureau APL. It's a click on okay. By which the rule is now created. It is now going to insert a new line, the same line. Find the 5156, 1506, the same line is going to be inserted if the order quantity is going to be more than two. So simple, but <laughs> writing it, what happens? You know, everybody, we need a code for this. Now, fine. How come you can understand this? Now, fine. So, we'll not release it to production. Any doubts on this now? Good. I know that you will not have doubt, but you'll ask what is the meaning of this, what is the meaning of that, and all. <laughs> technical has got a what happens, an explanation for each and everything. So, one thing is you have to sit along on the technical and then try to learn ADF first of all. Fine. ADF, and then you'll not see how the objects are coming along. So click on release now. I'm going to release it to production. So my new rule is now made. So the rule was released to production. Now let us now go on and test it on. So click on save and close and then come out of it. Save and close and then come out of it. We'll now go on and test it on a, on a, on a sales order. So click on the home icon. We, we may have to log out and log in. No log out. Because whenever you make a new change, it is preferable to log out and log in. So go there. I don't want to log in. Now I will now go to the order management and then I will now make a sales order. Go to the order management and then click on create orders. What the technical team is saying, you people who are working on the e-biz and then without even struggling anything, you are now making everything here. But a bit of struggle is involved. But uh, why don't you take it up, take up the struggle and then learn it. Learn idea fully. You can do wonders. That is what he's saying. So once when you know all the permutations and combinations over there, you'll be able to effectively utilize it. That's what they're saying. The pre-transformation rules, post-transformation rules, the extensions, business rules, pricing algorithms, etc. Everything needs the ADF map. So drop it down. Then go there. So I'll not use business one. I don't know use the existing thing. Computer service rules. <clears throat> Computer service and this is the one. So I'm not C O M. <coughs> it's not coming. So computer service and is the one. You have to have the built built account coming up now. Uh, we will not see whether nobody has uh, more spoiled it actually. <clears throat> so we will now go to the segment and strategy. We will now make a check now. Fine. Once it comes, we will check it. <clears throat> and he is saying that, okay, fine. What else? So click on action and then go to what? View pricing strategy and segment. We will now have a right? corporate segment group one and then corporate pricing strategy is very correct actually as far as the vision is concerned. Now nobody has uh, modified it. We will now populate our right? So this will fire only upon submission actually. That is what he's saying. So uh, we can't understand this just like that. It's going to fire upon submission. So more than two quantities. If you do it, but I mean, the system will be adding one more extra line. It's called buy one, get one free. So go that you want it. I will not make it as what? Four quantities and then give it and then click on add. So we are adding the line. And then I go to the next tab region. And then I do the supply area. 
So go to this place. And then I will now say supply is from 001 or click on the supply and go there. So warehouse is what? 001. Seattle. I will not give a say. Upon saving, nothing will happen. Upon submitting it, what happens? It will fire actually. But he's saying that even upon saving also, you can make it no fine. So a different way to write what is it. Now, this is basically for, I don't know where exactly it is mentioned as submission. That may be a post-transformation rule, maybe. Fine. Submission is after submission, maybe post-transformation. So the way in which they are writing it is it decides whether it is a pre-transformation or a post-transformation. So let us now submit it. So there's one four quantity there. Fine. You'll now have another line of the same item with four quantities with a zero price actually. Now the price is 60. Right. So click on submit. Sub on submission. You'll now find. And next thing will be that. So we are not submitting it. And so you can now see a new line gets added. But those who are in the coding area, it's all very simple things for them. But uh, we cannot ask, uh, we give a requirement and then do it. Now find it. Click on OK. You now submit it. Click on OK. You now find one new line getting added over here. Upon submission, the rule will fire actually. <coughs> So a rule has fired and then for four quantities and the price is zero. And they're saying that uh, this is uh, really very good because uh, you can have the flexibility of configuring your advanced placement. If you buy three, this is what it was started now. Actually, I asked if you buy three, I want two to be free actually. Fine. So uh, this is the second action he started, but it was not working actually. Fine. He started something, but afterwards he left immediately. So there is an ordered quantity more than two, something like that. But some other attributes are coming up. Fine. So he started it, but it was not working fine with this modify entity. So previously, what happens? We are using what a new row line uh, fine, order. So we, he says that with the modify entity, we can very well do. Fine. What is the new order line? And then add one more thing to modify it. You add it and then modify it. Fine. That way he's saying. Fine. So if you start to work on it with a technical one, what happens? You can do wonders on this. So all the advanced pricing is totally technical, actually. You have to have technical one. Then only what happens you can do. It. So this completes buy one, get one free. <laughs> Got it now. <laughs> but just simply copying and pasting is of a no real fun, actually. Fine. You must understand and then do it now. So that is the place. How many variants are available? All those things has to be understood. Any doubts? Somebody can say you understood it. <laughs> You understood about how to copy and paste. That's all nothing else. Sandil, how do you feel so? Are you there? Fine, nobody is answering me. Yes, no, no. Okay, fine. Yeah. So this is the one. So we are now complete. Now we'll now go to our instance. Now fine. We'll now go to our instance. I will now see the sales order numbering. Sales order numbering. <laughs> So I will not go and have a look at the sales order numbering. So if you open up a sales order numbering, now something else is coming up. Right? So we will now set up the numbering. Thank you, Mark. We will now go to the sales order number. We will now go to the setup number. It's called manage document sequences. Now have a look at the document sequences. So we can set up manage document sequences. So here, John, thank you, Mark. We will now go to the manage document Document personage, sequencing personage. This is the place where all the sequences are basically met at. Manage document sequences. So we'll now go to the manage document sequences and we'll now query for the order management. So go there. Application is what? You go there. We'll now choose order management. Order management application. I'll we'll make it search. Then click on search. So we're now searching for the order management action. So go there. So we have one uh, ready-made one available here. I'm going to click on it. The one not anywhere. So uh, it's automatic. It is common for all the BUs basically. So we'll now make a BU specific one and then do it. Right? So if you expand it, you can now see what are the initial start numbers coming. Initial numbers. But somewhere they have said it. So let us now set up a new number. Right? Let us set up a 10,000 number. So I click on plus one. <clears throat> I will now say Oracle order number. I'll give some name. So, go there. 
application is what order management order management order management yeah the order management so module is what manage orders manage orders so move there manage orders the module so here they have made it generic now fine now i'm going to make it specific actually fine type is automatic so determinant type is what business unit now i am now making it as business unit so this will not fire this will fire actually i will not give a start date now fine start date is produced so be you specific one i am now writing it that is a generic one so this is more appropriate than this so this will not supersede this rule actually thing will like one will not go down so in this one what happens we are going to what happens and go the exponent i will not go to the actions and then go to add new one fine so new one. So new is what for the sales order actually, right? So I will not put for the sales order, sales and then give a tab. So tabbing is not coming. I'm not going to choose it. Click on search. So click on search just for sales orders. Is it case sensitive? I'm click on search now. Oh, I say this case sensitive. I don't know why the people are making this case sensitive. Sales order. So go there, drop it down. It is automatic. I will not give a start date also. The dates are somewhat important actually. Go there. Go. Go. Business unit is what? Uh, we have a business unit about T01. So T01 business unit. No, no, in the document sequence category, right? We have to select FM. You selected GL, I think, sales order. Where is the document sequence category? Sales order only. No, no. Uh, when you, can you please open it once? See, there is sales order GL is also there. Sales order FOM is also there. So, oh, oh, oh I don't know. You are saying that it must be a separate one. Sales order is last, there. Last sales order time. issue. Fine. Sales order FOM is there. Oh, I have chosen a, a GL. Maybe wrong. Fine. FOM is fusion order management. This may be the correct one. Yes, very correct. So, I have chosen a wrong one. I will not choose that. FOM. Fine. Very correct. You're correct. Fine. Any mistakes? No. So I will not say the sales order number is going to start at 10,000. So this gets set actually. And that's it. Right? Now, every order, even if you delete it, what happens is that the number is set and then that will be a running number actually. Even if you delete the rule afterwards, what happens is it will be running on the 10,000 one. So this is a way we can write. This is a generic one without a business in it. And then our BU specific will now override the generic forms. Got it now? Fine. So okay, right. I will not give a save. Fine. This is the way we can set up the number. Find the client location, you can ask what are the number and afterwards don't come over here and then fiddle anything at all. Fine. Do not fiddle anything at all. Hey, who has told about the sales order number? Somebody who is this? Mahesh, na? Yeah. Uh, I, I just saw it because very, uh, very fantastic. It's a good observation of it. Mahesha has observed it very clearly, very keenly. And then I done it. So click on seven close by which what happened? The numbering is now set for ten thousand. So click on seven close. You know, set up the numbering. Now we'll now go and then create a sales order and see. No, go that's not. No, go to the place. Will not create a sales order. So the sales order number has to be what? 10,000. Okay, go to the manager orders. <clears throat> so click on create order. <clears throat> on create order. So drop it down. I will not choose mine. No, I will not populate the business unit. So you have one customer. Ah, underscore. Why these things are not coming immediately? I don't understand. So even without a line, we can very well save it actually. Even without a line, we can very well save it. Right? Once when these information are coming. So give a save. Now you can see the 10,000 number will be coming over here. See, we got the 10,000. But even if you delete the rule, it will be running only in this now. Otherwise, you supersede with some other rule actually. Previously, it was coming on 1,200, 1,300. 1, so now it's a new one. So this way we can very well set down. So this is on the document sequencing for the sales order. We'll have one more topic. It is not fine. We'll now have a look at one more topic. So here, uh, what I'm going to do is I will now what happens? Uh, uh, no scheduling and no reservation actually. Right? This is a very famous requirement. No scheduling and no no reservation. So once the CSR is going to book it, he may not be knowing from which warehouse we have to what happens? Uh, do it actually. So we have what happens? Uh, no scheduling. See that scheduling entering a file. You see custom no scheduling. Do customization for no scheduling. I'm going to let me create a do for no scheduling. Scheduling is basically going to say from which warehouse you're going to do it. Okay? So this is one. Do so let us now go and do it actually. So it is a big process. Fine. 
uh, we will not customize the do fine let me get next one let me go there let us not customize it mm -hmm. ஜிஓபிங் <laughs> i want to bypass it fine right? the scheduling has to be passed so you are going to do it now fine right? will no customize the do for this one thank you for i don't want to set up a maintenance and then it will no customize the do for no scheduling sir is there any attribute uh, pointing gop enabled or not sir uh -huh. yeah, that is not there no fine there is no such attribute at all fine right? here this is this is not having gop even though i have enabled it on the on the on the on the on the actions and then i go to the good offerings offering sir yeah offering. the offerings have already enabled it actually but it is not working at all if you go there the monitor the gop is enabled now and then go to the supply chain planning on supply chain planning so click on the opt in features <clears throat> so that gop is enabled actually but by enabling it it will not work at all so only when the system has got a license then only it will work actually in the future also everything is enabled right? but it is not working at all what to do right? <laughs> it is not having a license like that. i even uh, wrote to them nobody is able to understand about how to check whether the license is there or not fine right? even the, our team is also not uh, competent enough to do it not right? so that's why i was unable to do anything at all with gop so now we'll now go on and customize our stuff right? now i'm going to click on the phone now. I will not go to the case. I will not go to the generic area of the task. I will not go to what? Manage. Okay. Orchestration. Process definition. So go to the manage orchestration process definition. I am not going over there. It's okay. I will not go to the query. I am going to customize the do. The do I am going to customize it. So go there. So I will not open up the generic process. So this is the order flow. Of, I will not duplicate it. Select the name of the name. So click on the name. So it has to begin with a custom do name now. It has to begin with a custom do name. So I will not duplicate it. Anyway. Process name do already exist in the orchestration process. Now. I'm entering unique process name. What are you saying? I'm only duplicating it actually. Click on it. It's not selected. It's just to duplicate. Now. I'm duplicating. Order for human flow. Generic process name. let me do to get it <coughs> oh god somebody has not copy of custom do fine generic process already exist fine so copy of custom do is already existing that's why it is not able to be done so i have to query on the copy of okay so let us now query the copy of and i have to modify it actually so it's a very very tough task if you don't know things in a very proper manner you know say copy the somebody has copied it then they are not publishing it so we made a copy and then we have done and everything at all the take on search one somebody has copied you see <laughs> they already copied it but they did nothing at all so let us know any detection so this is the way people work now fine they copied it and then they did nothing fine with the open open uh, quote man let me edit check the one so once when you already copied and then do nothing it is not allowing you to make another copy of the same name actually so let us now say what about the custom do i will not make it a custom do custom do i will not say no scheduling no reservation no scheduling no reservation i will not do everything so it has to begin with the custom do and uh, so take off it and then uh, put on display so right? the display process uh, whatever the display name i'm going to click save so click on save so let me validate it whether the name is okay or not now make a check of the validation and see so good actions and good validate you now see whether the naming convention is okay or not. <clears throat> custom do no should link no reservation so is not valid so since everybody is going to do what i do is after custom do i will not put my number fine t01 underscore number so i will not put my number over here so that everybody can create one more 
because the same means the thank you was same or thank you much so there is a custom do t01 no scheduling of the machine so i am not going to what happens is customize this flow actually i'm going to customize the flow but no scheduling and no reservation so what do you do query this one thank you the ship process is one so i have not duplicated it thank you the fourth step is what i go to the orchestration process name thank you one i have not changed this anymore so in this fifth step is also completed and i can custom do it has been changed okay the sixth step i go there in the step definition tab and choose the 100 and then delete the record so 100 is now for a scheduling thank you i have not deleted Select it. So 100 is for scheduling. Thank you. Select it and then click on delete. So 200 is for conditional and then 100 is what schedule and then click on delete. I'm deleting the 100 now. So 200 is scheduling and then 100 is now what I'm scheduled. So the schedule has been deleted actually. So the the is now renumbered actually. The conditional was coming as 200 now. It is now renumbered actually. It's now renumbered. Yeah. Now renumbered. So it's now showing you this now. So it's now the scheduling after deletion and then save it and then the loop like that. Same. Scheduling has been removed. You know, removed the schedule. So it comes as a conditional. Here it is not coming as what trade reservation, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. It's vacant. Okay. <clears throat> Afterwards, what happens? Switch the status condition tab. So in the main one, I have deleted the scheduling. I go to the status condition tab. I go to the status condition tab. So I go to the status condition tab. I go that one. I go to the status condition tab. So go there. I have no space. Status condition tab. <clears throat> so go there. So under orchestration process status values. Under the status, I will now go to the orchestration process status values. I get that in the status condition. I go there. Oh, come on. So, somebody has modified it totally. Actually, we are unable to do it. So, this is not happening. Somebody has already deleted everything over there. Line status values is not coming, but in this place, nothing is coming. In this place, everything has been deleted. Actually, so they have copied it and then they have deleted it. So, what I do is I will not cancel it. I will again try to duplicate it. <clears throat> so I will go there. So do, then I click on search. I will now try to duplicate it. Now. now it has to open. Now. So because that it is already made, now I am not duplicating it. Okay, it has got duplicated. So what I do is I will now go there, custom do. I will now say <clears throat> underscore. T zero one one. What happens? Uh, I have already made one on the zero one. No scheduling. No reservation. So since I have made on D zero one, I am now making as T zero one one. Now I take copy and then the process name and then click on save. T zero one one I made. Go there. So click on it. I will now remove the scheduling. I will select it and then click on delete. Now scheduling is now removed. So click on this one. No scheduling is gone, actually. Gone. So it's now going something else. Whatever. So I will now go to that. What's called in the step definition? We are having it now. Step definition only were there. Oh God, I have to do in a different manner. Thank you to cancel my thing. <laughs> I made a mistake, you know. So I was not in the same So I will now go to the custom do and then query it. Custom do. Let me go and query. Custom do. Uh, T zero one sir. Yeah, T zero one one. So keep on searching. So I'll search mine and oh god, it is not visible at all. <laughs> okay, let me again get because I made a mistake there and so what happens? I don't know how to bring it now. So I will now again duplicate it actually. We should not make mistake because we are not that good in uh, what happens writing this technical things. So let us not duplicate it. So this time I will not make it as what T022 now. Because I made a wrong delete action. Custom do, I will not say T012 now. No scheduling, no reservation. And please don't make, make any mistakes because correction becomes a very difficult process because we are not fully aware of all these things. So keep your custom. What about the process plus one? Huh? That you leave what it. About process? I don't know what exactly it means now. <laughs> These are all the things which I don't know. Kind of so I now have to be in the step definition and then remove the schedule. I was in the status condition and remove it. Right? Step definition, I go there. So click on delete. Right? Click on delete. So 200 is conditional, that will go over 100. Step definition. So 200 is conditional, so that will go over 100. And now we go, fine, give us same. At this stage, give us same. <clears throat> so I'm now saving it. 
I go to the serious conditions now. For the serious condition, I will now go to what this one. Now. I will now go to the what orchestration process status values. So now here I'm. Uh, so now it's working. In the orchestration process status values, what happens? We go there. So delete step number one and twelve. Now. One and twelve. So one when you delete it, it will not be renumbered actually. Here. In this place there in the step differentiation it is renumbered. Here it will not be renumbered at all. So here it's not coming as what. It's not coming as sequence one two three here. It's coming as one two three. Fine. Scheduled, reserved, awaiting shipping, etc. etc. Scheduled, awaiting shipping. Some something is coming. So I will now remove it. Here it will not be renumbered at all. One ten will be remaining as one ten only. This and select it and then schedule. Find the status condition. Also, I will not delete it. It will not be renumbered here. So click on it. So then we're getting to click on yes. Fine. So is the one I done it now. Fine. Afterwards, what they was is one ten only. Fine. That is not getting renumbered. And then afterwards, the twelfth step, he is asking me to you know, fine. So the twelfth step is what? So before deletion, it will now look like this. The schedule was there. The twelfth one is what? Manual scheduling. So manual scheduling, he is asking me to do. Like we'll now see what is the manual scheduling number. So there is the one manual scheduling. So that one I am going to remove. So where is the manual scheduling? <clears throat> you go down. So manual scheduling I had to remove because their numbering is different now. Fine. So it's okay. I will not remove it. This is the one. Fine. 1401. One. Select it and then I will not delete. So scheduling has been removed and then manual scheduling is also removed. Fine. Click on delete. So we are not deleting. So click on S. No, fine. I will not give a save. So scheduling and manual scheduling has been removed on the orchestration process status values. So 1400 was there. Fine. That would have gone now. 1400 would have gone. So 1400 is no more there. Fine. After 1,300, 1,500. So two things have been done. So here it is a different numbering. It's okay. After deletion, it's okay. <clears throat> now what happens? You go to the status, go to the fulfillment line status values. On the status condition, you go to the fulfillment line status values. So I will now go to the I will now go to the fulfillment line status values. Next, this tab region I go. Writing is really very difficult actually. Go to the In this one, what happens? I'm going to have edit status rule set actually. Edit status rules. Fine. Click on the edit status rules. Fine. Click on edit status rules. We are not editing it. So the changes will be saved. Fine. Click on this one. Because the changes has to be saved actually. I have not, not done the same. So it is asking you to save. Fine. I have not done that. So here I have asked for 1, 12, and 14 to be deleted actually. 1, 12, and 14. We will not see what exactly they are. Doing. So 1 is what scheduling. And then 12 is manual scheduling. 14 is unscheduled now. Fine. Scheduling, manual scheduling, and then unscheduled has to be removed. So, but I'll now remove the scheduling. I'm fine. Still not scheduling. I'll now remove it. Fine. So, click on delete now. Fine. I'm now removing scheduling. And then another is what manual scheduling and then unscheduling. So, we will now see where is manual scheduling. I'm going on. So, go there. So, there will be a manual scheduling. One manual scheduling has to be removed. Oh, God. So much of a thing. So, manual scheduling is there. I will now remove it. As well as unscheduled also, I will remove it and select it. And then I will not delete. I have now selected the manual scheduling. Click on delete now. Writing do is a very, very tough task. We are now only modifying it, remember. Writing is really very tough now. Unscheduled also. So this totally bypasses the scheduling. Unscheduling, you know. Schedule and unscheduled, everything is bypassed on this group. So click on. Delete. It's all done. So total activity is not done. So manual scheduling, unscheduling, and then scheduling, everything has been removed. I can see manual reservation was there. So click on save. Now reservation has to be bypassed. So we are not bypassed everything now. So click on save and close and then come out of it. Now we are going to the rule set actually. The rule set I done it. I click on save and close, we will not come to the main area. Not go to the main area. And rule set is not complete. I will not go to the step definition and then here I will not bypass the reservation actually. Step definition. I'll not go there. So reservation we already done. So the same way we are doing it now. Fine. Create reservation. We are going to bypass it. <sighs> go down. Uh, where is the reservation? Create reservation. So in the create reservation, what I'm going to do is I will not drop down and see is a cancel reservation will be there. Some cancel reservation has to come now. So this is not the one. So this is not the one. So there will be in one area, whatever you'll be getting a cancel reservation. So on the create reservation, find reservation and go there. So here, yeah, create inventory reservation. I'm going to cancel the inventory reservation. I will not cancel the inventory. 
That's it. Now, reservation is bypassed. So, scheduling bypassing is a very tough talk. And then uh, reservation bypassing is easier. So, everything has been done now. So, if you cancel the reservation, this is also shown on the last as a cancelled reservation. So, update reservation, fine for that. So, this is coming as a cancelled reservation automatically. Now, we are going to validate whatever you have done. When you are writing new, uh, so much of work is there, and I'm going to go to actions, I'm going to validate. So, go to validate. I'm going to validate. <clears throat> so, custom do T012 is the one fine for that. It's not valid. It'll not go there. Click on it. It'll not release it to production. After releasing it, we are deployed. Click on release to production. So we're going to release it. So click on release. You're not releasing it to production. <clears throat> so the process is released to production fine. No need to download all because we cannot understand if you download it also. Fine. If you're a technical guy, you can understand by downloading and then viewing it. But since we don't know anything, so we are not downloading it, fine. We'll simply close and then accept it. Now we are going to deploy. For deploying it, you must have the username and password and go to the actions and then there's no deploy. So deploy process. This is a very powerful utility. And then what happens is you must be uh, also knowing it. That is what management experts in. So Oracle one to three capital one. Okay, I can click on deploy. In the name and the password section. Yes, no, one of one. So, on this, on this, we are now going to deploy it actually. So, orchestration process was deployed. And let me remember. Oh, I will do it. No, no, fine. Activity is not done. We will now go and then customize the do for the company. So, no, no, no. so, click on save and close and then come on. So, the do customization is complete for no scheduling and no reservation. And remember, if you want to write everything newly, how complex it will be now. Fine. It is not an easy one. Then you will cancel and come on. Now, we will now go there. Go to the manage. Sales percentage order percentage. So go to the manage sales orders. So I will now go for pre transformation rules is for defaulting actually. And then this is for customizing the rule. This is for defaulting actually. So this is for customization. Right? Click on the process assignment rules for the sales order. This is for customization from do actually. So we already made one now. Fine for that. So no reservation rule. Let us now modify it now. Thank you. We now modify this rule itself. Click on it. So now modify this rule. So no reservation rule there. So go to actions and then go to edit. So the process name, I will not change it to what this one. This one. So custom do, I will not say no scheduling, no reservation, I will not modify it. I will not. So click on it, let me change the process name. <clears throat> D012, I will not change. Click on it. I will not change it to what? T012, <clears throat> no scheduling, no reservation. Sometimes it doesn't come at all. So I'm going to wait, so what to do now? So click on it again now. Is not available. So drop down and then here what happens? You know, say custom do T012 is available. I'm not changing it. I'm not changing it. So, click on. so everybody write your own rule and then uh, what happens? Carry on. That's it. Fine. It is not done. So go there. So if it is going to be T01, no reservation, it is going to be no scheduling and no reservation also. Fine. Both things will be done on the right time. So click on save and close and then let me publish it. Another person has modified the rule. Come on here. I don't know what, what is this. Why this is coming like this now? Fine. I'm only doing it. So click on save and close. Not allowing me to do it. Another person has modified the rule. Hmm. I don't know what exactly this. So let me create a new rule now. So click on no. Do you want to save the change? Fine. Click on no. I'm not saving. So let me create a new rule now. Fine. Click on new. So let that be exact same now. Fine. So let me first of all get a new rule now. Fine. New rule. <coughs> I will not say <coughs> rule name. I will not write it. Click on it. I will now say T01, no scheduling, no reservation. So click on it. If the line tape is going to be same, I will now make the line tape. Line tape. I will now put the same line tape. I will put the same line tape. So drop it down is equal to T01. And T01, no reservation. So click on it. <coughs> And then I will not go to then now. I will not set the process name. Then do. I am not going to set the process name. Thank you, Monica. Let us not set the process name. Process name I am going to set. Up. So with that, I will not check. I will drop it down. I will not choose the T01. So T01 is going to be published. So this we will not publish it. So if the line table is going to be no reservation, it will be no T012 process. Now. So click on check and close. 
So that do is now getting set free. No, 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 no. So no shield reservation, let us know. But I want to publish it actually. And activate it and then publish it. Activate and then I'm going to put the start date, not until one start date. Not the start date. I mean, same as this one I will not disable that. Because both of them should not simultaneously work now. So, not, not, not. so this one I will not disable it actually. Remove the activation. So click on so that is one. So this is now going to work now. So let us not publish it. I click on publish. We are publishing it. Now every activity is now complete. You log out and log in and then afterwards create a new sales order. Click on it. Now log out and sign and sign in. So click on confirm now. So it's what case Nora wants. So it's, the password is what? So what if it wanted to I'm signing it and signing it. So let us now make a new sales order. So now the CSR need not have to say from which warehouse it has to go. So go to space or no go to the box. So I don't know, go on and create order and click on the create order. So now it do customization is a real daunting task. And similarly, advanced pricing using ADF and all. So go that T01. My first item is available in two warehouses, both one and two. So the CSR doesn't know from that issue, but customer only wants a material actually. Right? So T0101. I'm not give it app customer on the middle, but we have middle in both the warehouses. So go that you know he wants five one edition. And then go there, click on add. So I'm not going to specify the warehouse at all. I'm not going to specify the warehouse, but I will not change the what happens my line type actually. Let me change the line type to what? No reservation actually. I will not change the line type to what? Make it as what? T01, no reservation. No. So which one I have to say now? Hey, you need what? So T01, na, fine. This is the one, na. It's mine, na. Yeah, T01, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, so one. Now give us same. No. Once when I submit it, it will now, uh, it will not ask. Warehouse is not required. It is okay. Fine. Otherwise, whatever it goes, click on submit. So click on submit. So he is now booking the order without specifying any warehouse. No reservation, no warehouse. We'll now see, but how it's going to progress. Because he books it. And later on, once when they decide the warehouse, we are going to populate the warehouse. So you know, 10,001 is now coming. And then we you now go inside and then see the, happens, the orchestration process. Now, right? the actions, and then what is this to put in the So one thing is just to put in the yeah. What are the fulfillment times and then how are they? And there is no scheduling and then no reservation at all. So click on it. So click on the hyperlink of it. Click on the hyperlink. So go there. So I know that. Then now refresh that. So click on the request to orchestration pass. Everything is happening. So here, nothing will be there. Right? Even scheduling is not there. Reservation has started, but what I was, this is also getting started. <clears throat> so reservation started, but nothing will happen. So the whole orchestration process, reservation is not applicable. Now. Scheduling is not there at all for this custom do. For the custom do, there is no scheduling at all. There is no shit in the order. So it will not do anything at all. The order is booked. Right? Fine. There is no export also. There is no order. Shipping has started, but it doesn't know where to ship. Fine. It will now remain as only shorter. So this guy has booked what happened the order now. Fine. 10,001 is now booked. Later on, the management design is okay. We will not ship it from the first order. So what they will do is there is no export also. Right? Scheduling is gone. Reservation is not applicable. And then shipping has started. But he doesn't know to which uh, uh, inventory or it has to execute. This is a very famous requirement. So, got it now. Fine. On. So, on. Now, what the CSR will do is we'll now say, okay, now we are decided to what? Ship it from the first order. So, what you'll do? You'll go to the actions and then go to edit. Go to edit. So, you will not change the shipping or oh, the message is coming here. X mark is coming here. Arrows. And then, first of all, clear the contents of it. Arrows, clear the content. And then, remove the content. Remove the kit. So whenever you are uh, changing it, first clear it and then after the remove. So I will now say T01 is the first org I am going to put it. So drop it down. So I desire it. So once when you make a change, what happens? The shipping method has to be cleared. 
ഇഷ്ടം ക്ലിയർ ദ ഷെഡ്യൂൾ ആൻഡ് ദൻ യു കൻ ഓൾസോ ഓവർ റൈഡ് ദ ഷിപ്പിംഗ് <laughs> So there is an exception type which has now put it on a hold actually. Now the change is happening. So click on that. The X mark also will go away because we, don't, we have the arrows now. Previously, the arrows is not there. If you click on the X mark, you will not see. The arrows is not specified or something like that. Good. <clears throat> Good. It's a credit validation. Oh God. that is another problem <laughs> so the credit check has not been removed actually fine because of it that, that x mark is for the credit check and not for the warehouse actually right click and then duplicate and here you can duplicate it. so i have not removed the credit check at all so let me now click on paste it so i will now remove the hold also directly so go that one I will now go to the actions and then here what I am going to say. Credit check hold. Hold hold and then I will now say view full details and then I will now remove the hold. At least the hold is not coming here. So click on that now. And now this user request is still running actually. So go there. We will now in the main screen whatever the change pending is now happening. It will be on a hold. We can leave the hold also. So let us now first see the change pending getting completed now. So this has to get completed now. and afterwards we will not leave the whole thing so if you go there and then have a look at this orchestration process it has to get uh, what happens is go to awaiting shipping actually when change pending is now happening so it will not go to because of the hold it will not go to this place now fine we'll now release the whole box change pending <coughs> ship change pending is now coming now it says reserved is possible right because we are now given the barrows so it has got reserved actually reserved is got completed previously reservation was not applicable remember reservation was not applicable now reservation has got completed so still is not coming <clears throat> so click on refresh now the click on the refresh because two things are simultaneously getting affected now right? <laughs> good actions and good holds now and now release hold is coming thank you on the release hold release hold let us now release the hold and uh, uh, you are reason now the release uh, uh credit check is resolved actually uh, you will give a comment and then click on save and close by which whatever said this is not resolved actually now the the hold icon has to go away and then as far as user status is also complete now click on refresh the hold icon has gone user request has got completed now it has to go to awaiting shipping actually because that you know so all then so if you click on the hyperlink on this orchestration process so it has gone to awaiting shipping actually and remember do customization is not a easy job i only modified an existing do fine that itself you see how many of things you may have to even write a complete do also fine so you this is uh, oracle is conducting a training on do all do uh, writing the do they conduct a training fine if uh, any ready made uh, records are available here fine can you uh, what happens uh, tell me where exactly is available so that what happens uh, you can you put in the uh, chat actually on the whatsapp chat so that everybody can see it actually so with this we formally complete this training actually and these three topics i want to come to connect right finally completed it so we formally complete this training today so do you feel that uh, you have got some good idea about order management can you speak now you can even open up your uh, video and then speak now few words about your satisfactory levels sir i am sujala hi yeah Uh, it was a great training sir uh, and has given more value addition <laughs> yeah, <but. laughs> 
and uh, looking forward to learn more from you in future also thank you so much sir so sujala so is already knowing the order management she is himself saying that some good amount of value additions there in this training actually Great. yes sir, definitely <laughs> anybody has got any comments this is the formal completion of this training actually you can open up your video and then speak now yeah, no, no, it was a really uh, good value addition. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, getting, you know, the uh, when the very good insight about a fusion order management. Um, as I, I sometimes back probably told you that I had some idea about EVs one, mm -hmm. but uh, as, you know, from the Oracle side also, there is, you know, a lot of changes made in the fusion order management. So gets, uh, you know, very good uh, understanding on that. And definitely it will help uh, me on, you know, uh, in terms of uh, uh, getting more uh, understanding about that model and the processes. It was really wonderful. And the way you have conducted your passion uh, and you know the way you try to uh, resolve the queries, it's wonderful. And again, as Sujala mentioned, we we'll look forward for other modules as well. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Sudeep Biswas. Sir, I have only one question, sir. Mm. When we can meet, meet again, sir? <laughs> 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 <clears throat> really, uh, yeah. value addition, sir. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, configurator is a really remarkable, sir. Configurator mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, uh, buy on, get on. Mm -hmm. Everything is a new topic to me, sir. To be ah. frank. Good, good, good. Thank you. Uh, th thanks, Nana, for the wonderful sessions. With uh, your age and passion, it is really <laughs> commandable. Uh, we don't know where we will be at uh, this, uh, your age, but... Uh, <laughs> That's what I would say. At the passion. Okay, sorry to say this. Still, he is 16 only. And, and, yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> I'm 62 now. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, it was a nice overview session, uh, uh, Mana. So, more thing, we need to invest the time and uh, take it from where you um, given us tips, mm. take it forward and uh, learn to. That's what I would say. And uh, moreover, any further sessions is planned, Nana? Uh, we only have to talk to Sunil John. Fine. Sunil John, if you talk to him, and then if you put a request to the TND team, then they may even, uh, what happens? My contract is going to end on 15th of August, actually. There's only a three months contract. But uh, okay. it depends upon the need, they may even extend that. So you okay. put a request to the TND team, so they may even conduct more sessions. Actually. So as, as planned, there is no sessions in the next uh, month, is it? In, uh, well, in this month, uh, I'm not going to conduct a training for the freshers, actually. Funny, on the MBA team, the MBA on supply chain are joining now. Fine. Tomorrow they are joining. So mm -hmm. we are going to conduct training for about three weeks' time for them now. And afterwards, I don't know what is the plan. <clears throat> so you can even keep on putting your requirement to TNB. <clears throat> and they may even conduct as per the needs, actually. So as of now, there is a three-week plan for the freshers of uh, MBA, MBA supply chain management. They completed so for them. I'm going to connect it from first of all, Monday onwards. Yeah, if uh, I thought if some uh, sessions are getting repeated because I could not attend your initial sessions because oh, of okay. some uh, project uh, commitments, so mm -hmm. that's the reason I thought. Yeah, put, them, uh, put your request, fine. Right? You put your request to TND so they because they may even hire me again, and there's no problem at all. Okay, so how do you find uh, the Oracle trainers was my training actually? <laughs> Have you attended the Oracle training? Yes, the Oracle training, I have attended many, so it is on PPTs and... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the biggest problem, right? They run the PowerPoints now, right? the training. So the PowerPoint trainings may not be of a, much of a use to you. This is a practical training, actually. Yeah. Thanks, Mahesh, for your feedbacks now. Thank you. Thanks, Nana. Mm -hmm. Nana, Any... do you also conduct the manufacturing one? Yeah, yeah, manufacturing is planned. I don't know when they are going to plan it, actually. Fine, I'm not able to... No, it takes. But I think they have a plan for manufacturing also. But no idea at all. <clears throat> Just one thing to add, Nana. Actually, other than this training also, I come to know from you in the YouTube, you are very much popular. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was a good I'm introduction that, you know, you know, we could uh, get, you know, a real Nana to <laughs> give us training. <laughs> so... That was a, a, another uh, you know uh, aspect of this uh, having this content training. Really wonderful. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you.
Nana is famous from uh, India's world itself. When yeah, yeah. Uh, For the career. past 15 years, I am a very famous trainer actually. Right? From 2005 <laughs> onwards, I am conducting training on EBS actually. Right? Great, great. <clears throat> Sir, I am traveling with you since from 2006. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, can I raise a request for our you know, procurement uh, pending pillars? Uh, that, uh, to make a request, fine. I don't know when they are going to honor it, actually. Fine. But uh, it fine. looks like there is a budget constraint. Fine. This quarter, they may not uh, accept anything at all. I think. Because uh, this quarter is ending in August, actually. Fine. Maybe in September, they may consider uh, the new trainings, actually. You put a request. Fine. And then see. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. I will do it right now. will be good, sir, if we get training for uh, self-service procurement also. Mm. Where we have uh, sourcing activities. Uh, yeah, yeah, everything. You know, five modules have to be conducted now. Right? Yes. I'm just waiting only for the instructions from the PMO team, actually. <clears throat> Any other uh, comments? Otherwise, we'll not formally close this training now. <clears throat> yeah. Fine, then. Thanks, thanks, yeah. Nana. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Wonderful weekend. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Nana. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, sir. Thank, thank you, Ralph, sir. Thank you, Nana. Thank, thank you. you so much, sir. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 <clears throat>